South Pool Creek. Part of the Kingsbridge Rear, it runs some two miles northeastwards into the rolling South Devon countryside. Framed by farmland and small woodlands, its hidden coves, nooks and crannies provide peace, solitude and wilderness away from busy Solcombe. At the head of the creek lies the village of Southpool itself. 143 residents surrounded by river fords, a 15th century church and a small visitor's pontoon. It's an ideal place to dry out on the mudflats and to spend an overnight camp cruising, serenaded by bubbling brooks, woodland birds and screeching buzzards. With plenty of small lanes and footpaths, it's a perfect place for an evening stroll and perhaps a beer or two at the local pub, the Millbrook Inn. I spent this morning sailing the outer estuary and I moored over at Dichen for a while just to let the tide build further. And now I'm just coming up this gorgeous South Pool Creek under gentle northerly winds and there's about an hour or two just to high tide. I so enjoyed that. We're going to go back down and we're going to do it again. It was such a nice, nice little sail. And so we did the creek three times before eventually rowing the last stretch as the winds died to arrive at the visitor's pontoon. I have to say it's fairly busy up here. There's boats arriving and leaving and um, everyone's visiting the local pub. I'm just sat here enjoying the last of the evening sun and charging the phone, catching up on texts, doing other odd little jobs. There we go, all ready for the night. I'm about to start cooking on my wonderful Trangier, which is in its galley box. Um, as it's a one-night cruise, I'm using boil-in-the-bag camping food. I'm starving, but you know what they say, watching a pot boil isn't going to make it go any quicker. Patience, patience. Uh, good things come to those who will wait. and vegetable stew. It's delicious. I'm just sat here drinking tea and I'm watching the last of the pub goers depart on the ebbing tide and I'm being serenaded by a trickling brook and evening bird song. This is blissful tranquility. The tide's dropping away fast now, and I've practically got this creek to myself. It's absolutely wonderful. It's amazing what you can store under the foredeck of Arwen. And if I turn around and just show you, um, all of that gear there is for tonight. So sleeping roll, uh, sleeping bag, bivy bag, um, cushions, a couple of blankets. Um, it all goes under there, under the foredeck in the hatch. Um, and over here, if I just turn around, down on the floor there is the sleeping platform which I'm about to raise now um, so I'm going to quickly show you how I turn Arwen from this 
okay, into um, a comfortable place to um, sleep tonight. And the first thing I do is I release these bags just here, the halyard bags, um, just so that they can um, stretch out of the down out of the way, um, and I can get the um, sleeping boards in place. Um, I then unclip the boards from the bottom of the floor. I have shamelessly, shamelessly stolen this idea from Joel Bergen and his navigator. And so this is not my idea, it is entirely Joel's. Um, and it's an absolute brilliant, brilliant, brilliant um, piece of engineering. And that's it. That's all I need to do. And um, if I want to, I can then have these cushions alongside it like this and the one I'm sat on over here. Um, and for ex extra, um, I'll also put over a um, roll mat. Almost there. Just give it a bit of inflation. Well, as you can see, I've put in the creature comforts, uh, my wrap sleeping bag, a few cu cushions just to make things a little bit homely. Um, and then I've got a Gore-Tex bivvy bag. As you can see, I haven't put the tent fully over. Um, it's going to be quite warm tonight, so uh, let's get some fresh air and a breeze through. And I'll just pop the blankets over there just in case it gets a little bit chilly at night. And I've left the back open as well. Um, the wind has practically died, um, and the heat of the day is disappearing now. So we're practically set up for the night. So just need to find my book and... Um, a nice pleasant evening. The tide's dropping away fast now. Wow, creek life can be pretty brutal if you go down on the food chain. Food for the brain and the soul. Sally ended up giving my Good mother night, her everyone. telephone number and email. Come join us on the next voyage by clicking subscribe below.